is is a it's like a bus stop. You know, you're going somewhere. Okay, you're going somewhere. So I want you to uh, the most important thing you can hold on to right right here right now in this place is your manufacturer, and that is God, your maker, because He has the master plan. If you can walk with Him. He will guide you down. to the next place, the next level, Bridget. the next thing to do. Because he alone knows what you're supposed to be doing next. If you try to do it by yourself and on your own, you will make errors, you get frustrated, you waste even more time. So the best thing to do right now is to get on track with a person that has your manual. Everything about you is in his hand. So I want to encourage you to walk with him and he will definitely guide you. I uh, was raised, born and raised in Africa. I didn't have a father growing up. It was just a mother that I had. We, we didn't have much to eat. We had barely had anything. But my mom struggled a lot to send her to school. You know, I never thought I would be in this country, but here I am. You know, I was able to attend the dental school. I have my practice. It's just an unbelievable journey. But it started only when I got to know God. When I started working with him and he began to tell me who I am right now in Christ, he told me, look, you are now my daughter and I own the whole heaven and the whole earth. He said it belongs to him. So automatically, I have an inheritance in him. Does that make sense? So every father leaves an inheritance for their children. God has an inheritance for you. But you can only be a part of that inheritance when you begin to walk with him. So I just want to encourage you the most important thing you can do is to give your life to him and allow him to direct you. Because there is no other way. I can tell you that. There's just no other way. He's the only one that can make it good for you. He can make it easy. He can make it, he can have favor. And the things that took people 10 years to do, he will do it for you in a twinkling of an eye. So this is not your destination. You're going somewhere. This is a bus stop. It's a transitional phase for you. So God is going to do new things for you. Um, I mean, this is my first time here. Uh, if anybody, and I can reach out to the coordinators. I'm a dentist. If you ever have any dental need, I'll be willing to do that for you free of charge. <laughs> so we can walk you guys in like one appointment after the other. And it will be my great pleasure to do the best I can do for you. Uh, so I just want to encourage you. Uh, do the best you can, but most importantly, hold on to God. You know, if you have a Bible, read your Bible every day. Trust Him, ask Him to guide you. He will teach you, and I'm, I'm telling you, before the end of this year, God will do a new thing for you. Amen. So you just got to make a choice. He said, I lay before you life and death. Choose life. 